hello everybody welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to make xanthan gum hair gel there are different hair gels on the market and uh, the ones you can easily make at home you can easily use a uh, gua gum which i did in my previous video in this video i will show you how to briefly make your own hair gel or even a uh, skincare gel with xanthan uh, gum so let's uh, go ahead what you need is xanthan gum okay so you're going to measure two grams of xanthan gum for this uh, video we're going to use uh, two grams of xanthan gum then to that two grams you're going to add you're going to have five grams of glycerin we're going to have five gram of glycerin to the two gram of xanthan gum then you're going to mix it well we're going to mix this too well you're going to mix it very well So once you've mixed your xanthan gum, two grams of xanthan gum with uh, five grams of glycerin, okay, I'm using the USP version of uh, glycerin, so be careful, don't just buy any version of glycerin, make sure you go for the USP 99.7% and look in the description box below for where to get your glycerin and your cosmetic grade xanthan gum. Do not use food grade xanthan gum, make sure you go for the cosmetic grade. Then after adding that, we're going to add water to them. So for this uh, DIY, we're going to use 91.5 gram of distilled water. You can get your distilled water from the store, the local food store. So we're going to measure 91.5 gram of distilled water. To that, you can add your preservative. Preservative is optional. If you can keep this in the fridge, that can keep, so you can add your preservative, depending on what you are using. The preservative I'm using is also always my favorite preservative that's uh, available at Pure Blend Natural, is the EUX P910. I'm using that at 0.5 gram. So not that 0.5 gram is what I'm using for this DIY. When making your hair gel, you do not want to over-preserve it. It may affect the efficacy. So the next thing you want to do is just uh, blend it well. Keep in mind, this is not a shelf-stable version. This is only for DIY. So you cannot sell this to the public. If you want good um, review, you don't want to sell this. It's not. It's not a retail grade. This is only for DIY. So add your preservative. After adding your preservative, blend it very well. And also to achieve a better, smoother blend, you're going to use your immersion blender to blend it further. You don't want to over blend it, so you don't so as not to pump too much hair into your gel so now that we are done all you have to do is just enjoy your gel as usual just enjoy the gel if you had preservative depending on the preservative you use okay you can keep it out of the fridge and use it within i think it should uh, for my preservative it can keep up to three months because it's a DIY. You can keep even up maybe two months, let's just say two months, because it's a DIY. It's not a retail grade, okay? When you're making a retail grade uh, hair gel, uh, that's more to it, okay? So you can use this gel for your hair. You can also use it for skincare. You can mix it with your lotion, okay? You can also use it for other purpose, okay? 
just make sure you follow the instruction in this video remember we use two gram okay we use two gram of uh, xanthan gum we added that to five gram of vegetable glycerin USP then after that we mix both together then we added water and our preservative we mixed it well and we use an immersion blender to blend the well so this is what you get for a DIY air gel it's a uh, very good in that uh, we have a uh, emectant there which is our glycerin vegetable glycerin is very good and also xanthan gum do have a little bit of hold but do not expect too much hold from this but this air gel will do a little bit but do not expect too much hold from this because it's uh, DIY so that's about it for this video this is how you make your own hair gel you can also use this gel to thicken your lotion okay you can also use it to take in other products that you are making so this is about it for this video in my next video i'm going to show you how to make a homemade shampoo with um xanthan gum because uh previously we, we talked about i did video about uh gua gum hair gel make sure you watch that video search on the channel i might even uh, link it in the description box below so then we did um we also did a shampoo with gua gum so watch that video also about this one. I know you're going to enjoy it. This is a very perfect DIY uh, for hair and also for skin. So thanks so much for watching everyone. We love this channel. Give it a thumbs up. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. If you also want to improve your cosmetic formulation skill, you want to learn how to make different DIY or product, this is the channel for you. So click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching everyone.